Today I have an interview with unique person Alex Shelby who kindly invites us to his house on City Islands. He is only one, who have private island in the New York City. On October 2, 2011 Alex Shelby 71-year-old retired Port Authority worker, who born in Switzerland, won an action Rat Island for $160,000. Yes, I used to go out to the island all the time and I found out it belonged to a, a guy who retired in uh, Florida and he wanted to get rid of the island and uh, but he wanted too much money and then finally he called me and said oh now I'm having I'm selling it and there was an auction on City Island Avenue and then I was the highest bidder that's why I, I got the island it was 160,000. Yes. Yeah. Because I read he would like 300,000. That's what he wanted first, yeah. yes. And he wait a couple but, years. Yeah, I hope to get it for less money, but uh, somebody else was bidding, bidding me up. <laughs> I went a little bit too, maybe too high, but uh, I was happy to, to get the island. I see. What else you can tell us about? Well, they always question, ask why I want to buy an island. Now, I'm uh, born in Switzerland, and Switzerland is a landlocked country. But maybe people know about Robinson Crusoe or Swiss family Robinson, who, who was, lived on an island. It's kind of a, maybe a, a dream for many Swiss to own an island. Then I had the opportunity to buy one, and so I bought it. Alex, do you have uh, any plan to build something on the island? Actually, I don't really have a plan. I like the island's nature. There are a lot of birds breeding out there, and uh, I like it nature. Actually, what I would like, I had a little foundation on the left. I would buy a little casebo. That, that could go easier for me to go out there and stay out there. But there were architects who made, who asked me if they could make projects, and they have made big projects. What you could do with the island. And uh, but I am not. I by myself. I'm happy where I live here. Across on the mainland on City Island. I don't have plans to build anything on the island. But I'm open if somebody somebody would like to do something there, something which is sustainable uh, and doesn't need any additional So energy. they can come to you with any proposal? Yes, yes, I'm open, I'm open to that. You, okay, uh, great. Thank you. Do Alex that. is so close to your house, it is 3,000 feet to this island. How you reach this island? Yes, I have a, a kayak and a canoe. You can go out with a with kayak, row out there. In fact, they also swam out there a couple of times, or yeah. swam back. And my wife, she goes on the stand-up paddleboard out there. Uh, and it's also nice to swim, swim out there. As I know, you every morning go to the island. What are you doing? Oh, I, when I go, I always make sure that the flags are in good condition. And, uh, and in winter, of course, I take the flags down. A couple of weeks ago, when my son was here from Germany, he was very happy that uh, Eintracht Frankfurt won the uh, European Championship. And we raised the Frankfurt flag and the German flag on the island. And he was, and he and his wife, his wife is German, were very happy. He took pictures of it. And every evening you go and put the flag down. Yes, actually, at sunset you should take the flags down, but uh, it's kind of too large an effort. So I decided I leave the flags up. But as soon as they are. Uh, torn or damaged, I go and replace them. I normally have the American flag, the Swiss flag, up there. And there's a third mast where for special events I can put other flags up. Nice.
Thank you. Located off the coast of the Bronx and the waters of the Long Island Sound to the north of Manhattan, New York City's only private island is not exactly a vacationer's paradise. The island is small, irregular, about 2.5 acres, 1.0 hectares, in area. In August 2016, a polyester copy of the statue of the Swiss freedom fighter William Tell was erected on the island for the 725th Swiss National Day. The original is located in Altdorf, Uri, Switzerland. You can see that Alex replaced Swiss windblown flag for new one. In summer months, a couple dozen people may come to the island. Sometimes, the local first responders use it to practice rescue missions with boats and helicopters. Over a decade ago, conservationists eradicated the rodents. According to a recent study, the island is now considered rat-free. Alex and his beautiful wife Noel are returning after the flag replaced.